Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Daniel O'Neill with Akumina, and today we'll be extending the Akumina search widget on the foundation site. Recently, I've been getting a lot of requests on how to do this, and I'd like to spend a few minutes just to share with you what I share our clients about how we can make these simple changes to build a better search experience on your site. So let's get going. So displayed here is our out of the box uh, foundation site with Akumina. And we have a pretty good starting point for our search on the site. So if I came up here and said, uh, I look for Akumina. And you'll see right here, I have the different tabs it's gonna search for, the different elements uh, across the site right there, all pages, documents, or people. If I click on the uh, enter right there, you'll see it goes to a, a fuller experience right here uh, for all those different requests there as well. And so what's cool about this functionality within Akumina is that it's really just using our widget technology to provide this experience. We actually have two widgets on this page. We have one that contains the tabs right here, and then a second one, or actually four others, that contain the searching mechanisms in place right there for the results right there. In this case, we're searching documents, right here we're searching pages, and then over here we're searching people. So what I wanna do today is actually add a fifth tab. And that fifth tab is actually gonna uh, search across the different counter events that are on this site as well. And there's a couple different ways of doing that, but I'm gonna walk through one right here that I think is a pretty simple and easy way to do that. Now to start off with, we need to fairly identify uh, how we actually get the contents into the page right here. Now again, I have this blog post that covers it, but let me just show you briefly what this looks like. Again, on the site, I can click on my tray right there, click on my gear, and you'll see right here again, you'll see I have two gears up here because we actually had that one widget that's encompassing the entire search experience. And the second one right there, which is actually the container of that tab essentially. When I click on that, you'll see that it's a simple, again, a Kumina widget that has its own properties that define what it searches for on the site. If I click on my properties right there, you'll see right here, I have this query box right there. And that's really where all the magic happens. This is very uh, similar to using just KQL for the searching in here. And it can be, it can get pretty complex, obviously, you can see right there, but again, it's pretty easy to work with once you understand how to, how to play along with it. So again, pretty straightforward. So what I like to do is to help kind of figure out what my query is gonna be, I actually use SharePoint behind the scenes to actually find out what I wanna have in there for that. So what I like to do is I'll come over here, I'll duplicate my tab, and from here, I'm gonna go to my site settings on the site right there. Uh, I'm gonna close my, uh, my, show my ribbon up there go to site contents, and then I'll go to site settings right here. And down here, I'm gonna to go to res uh, result sources. When I go in there, I'm just gonna to go to new result source. And again, there's probably a couple different ways to do what I'm gonna show you right here, but I find this is a very easy way to figure out what I wanna have in my search mechanism right there. So from here, I'm gonna click on launch query builder. And really that's gonna be this the simple to use interface to help kind of build the queries that you wanna have uh, inside of that widget right there. So from here, it's gonna be blank. And these options down here let you kind of play around with these levers to figure out what you wanna have for that search in there, that search query. So again, I'm gonna keep this one very simple. I'm gonna to go to my select property and I'm gonna search for anything with a content type that equals something. Because again, all the events on my site use the Akumina calendar content type. So I click on content type and then contains, and it's not gonna show everything at first, but if I click on show all content types, and then do it one more time. You'll see I have all the different Akumina content types available right there. And again, there may be more or less on your site based on how many you have in there. But I can do right here, I can click on Akumina calendar, and I'll add to my property filter. So now I'm gonna come down here, I'm actually gonna get rid of the ID right there. I have this equal to Akumina calendar. Again, you don't need to make this change, but I'm just doing it right here just for demo purposes. And I don't need the ID, I'm just gonna use the content type. I can do a test query now. And you'll see now it's gonna have 47 results that match that query on my site right there. So that's great because again, it lets me know that I'm, I'm returning uh, items in there. You can see weekly scrum, company outing. Again, all these are different events that are in the index on the site right there. So what you can do now is actually use this uh, query right there to actually populate that field in there. And so I actually did that as well. So let's actually go to a widget that I have configured for this one right now. I'll go back to my site. I'm gonna cancel out of here for the time being. I'll go to my app manager right from here. And I'll go to my Managing Apps, Widget Manager. And again, I'm on a version five site. If you're in a version 4.x site, again, this would work as well. Again, we're using the generic search list widget. So I'm gonna scroll down to the Gs. So right there, click on my instances option right there. 
and you'll see I have my items in here. And what I did was actually use the default one, the content tab results, and I just created a clone of it essentially. And then from there, I just worked on the different configurations for the events uh, uh, search widget right there. So events tab, click on the pencil right there. And again, right here is basically the query that I grabbed from that query builder. And you see right there, um, again, I have that content type is equal to a Kumina calendar. And there's some other ones in here for scoping this search for just this site collection and everything. But again, as you build out the query in here, again, I could search across all my display sites. I could search across my entire tenant altogether if I wanted to. So again, a lot of control over what you want to have in here for that guy right there. But in everything else I left as is, so everything can be stayed that way. I did in this fact, just actually create a new view in here. It's just a clone of the one that's there by default as well. I changed the icon on it pretty much. So again, this is a starting point. Again, pretty easy to do that. But again, that was the other change I made right here. But again, you can leave the default one if you want to as well. Again, that will be fine. So now that I have that in there, I basically can now use these properties of this widget to now get that added to my searching experience. And to do that, like I said before, we actually have two widgets here, one that kind of groups them all with the four tabs, and then we have the items that are in there. So now what I wanna do is actually modify the one that has all the tabs right from here as well. And to do that, I like to just kind of click on the gear and I'll go to the properties here. And again, this is just a single line of text field. So what I like to do is actually copy this guy into a notepad file to work with from here. So I'm just gonna do a control C to copy it. I'll go to a new window. I'll bring this guy over here for you. Paste it in there. So again, this is the basically the JSON that we're using for uh, building those tabs in here. And it's pretty straightforward. It's basically like an array of objects, essentially. So I have a title, uh, which is right there. We have the ID, which is essentially the widget ID, that widget WID right there. And then a callback method that's run, basically to execute that search when that tab is clicked on. And there's four of them in here right now. So I could actually now take it a third, uh, make a copy of one. I'll just maybe copy, I'll just copy this one. It doesn't really matter, but I'll just copy one that's right there. I'll put in another that and then a comma. And I can just basically kind of go through just modifying this just a little bit to make those changes right here. So I'll do is I'll come over here. I'm going to say title in this case. And again, I'm not worrying too much about multi-language right there. So I'm going to just click on here and say uh, events. Okay. For the ID, it's basically the ID of the, um, the widget itself. So again, this is the widget that we're using right here. So I'll do a control C as well. I'll go back to my property right there. So events, I'm going to copy this guy right there. Nice and easy, control V. So now I have that GUID in there. And then I can leave that callback in there because this callback is basically gonna be used for all these tabs. And essentially just gonna basically execute that search once I click on it. So now that I have that done, I can just basically copy paste this whole string right there. I'll come back over here and go to my front end side right here. I'm gonna replace what's in there. So I'll delete that, put that in there and just do a quick update and exit. And I'll say uh, note for that one. And now you'll see I have my fifth tab in there. So I have all pages, documents, events. When I click on events, it's gonna display all the different events that match that keyword. Again, there's a lot of them in here. So I clicked on uh, maybe training. So I'm gonna filter all by right there. If I did a search for maybe 2020, it's gonna find items that match that as well. But again, it makes it very easy for me to kind of expand upon this to have these different tabs that searches different types of elements on the site. Now, again, this could be all in all these items right there. Uh, but again, sometimes it's nice to have certain elements that are separate from the bunch to make it a little bit easier to kind of fine tune what you want that experience to look like in there. Because again, in this case, 2020 is buried in here for that training right there. Um, so again, really just showing you just how you can expand upon this very easily, just with a couple little tricks inside of uh, Akumina and within SharePoint. Uh, again, um, I hope you found this enjoyable and I uh, look forward to more of these down the road. Thank you so much.